Hello guys, I'm back and uh, this is Kuya Andrew and how are you guys? And our topic for today is uh, I remember uh, this year I saw some uh, video and I never tried this kind of jigs and this kind of style of fishing and uh, I think I watch on YouTube and uh, maybe some few videos that uh, they're using uh, sinker or lead like this uh, 16 ounce of lead and they put hook and they drop it and they catch tuna and uh, now it's very popular now and even on the landing you can see it the, uh, the making of this and then uh, they are selling I think like from $30 to $45 each one the setup and uh, now what I did is uh, I make like this from this one to do like this and what I did is uh, I prime it I prime I prime this one and then after I prime it I make it like uh, dry it like 24 hours and then I buy this in Walmart it's only like five dollars so six dollars something I think five dollars or six dollars in between I'm not really sure but and uh, uh, they said is uh, metallic finish or something is better they have a lot of colors in Walmart that you can choose but I choose this one this kind of color and uh, maybe it helps on the bottom maybe it make it sh more shiny and uh, okay mostly the jigs they're using is like this but <laughs> this time they use like this but they're catching and I'm doing nothing now and uh, instead of buying in the landing it's so it's really far from me it's like you need to drive like two hours to drive to get this one and it's better to make it and more cheaper okay and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it okay and what we're gonna do now is uh, all we need is this one and I'm gonna make this one I'm gonna put this one on the side all we need is only this and ring I have ring in here and uh, how they call it crimper I have a crimper and hooks I have a lot of extra hooks in here you can choose what you like we're just gonna put this one and that's it okay let's try it you need the pliers and now and put this one first let's see and uh, I'm gonna try this next year I hope it's gonna work and let's see and this little what you need to do is just like this and uh, okay kind of hard I don't know how they got stuck there okay and uh, after we put that one that one and we need another ring on the top where's the ring there okay you can put another ring here oops I hope you can see it I tried to preview on my phone but I don't know what happened and just like that and then I after I spray the primer I spray the next day I spray the groom to look more shiny and this one uh, we can put the uh, the hook take this out put this inside here it's very easy and I'm gonna show you later on the why we're gonna put the uh, 200 pound uh, line and this one to connect 
and okay now if you want swivel you can put swivel here so it's not gonna so you can the torpedo or your sinker is not gonna like you can uh, what do you call it you can duck freely it's not it's look like turning like this instead of like got stuck or something and after that it's almost done just like that and then we need the uh, we need some barrel this one okay we're gonna put in here you know why we need to put this 200 pounder line to this you know why because this one is possible if you're gonna cut big tuna it's possible this one gonna came up because you know why this one is not connected all the way there this is only like a eight this sign of like eight ring or something it's up to here only and this one maybe up to here only and this one if you cut tuna and the tuna pull it really hard and then you can have a good bite maybe possible this one gonna came up what we need to do now is we're gonna put this one here this line okay we're gonna put this and I always put the uh, two barrel two and then we're gonna connect, connect to your swivel and put it back just to protect so your tuna or your fish is not gonna go away And just like that and then we're gonna crimp it and instead of buying and landing if you have set up like this instead of buying and landing is a kind of expensive you can set up your own it's like that and you save money you save money up oh. Okay, uh, easy to me to fix that one. Okay, crimp it, crimp it really hard. Oh, okay, crimp it really good. There, there you go. Just like that, and then you're gonna connect this and this side that okay you connect this you need to put this this one inside again okay and then connect this on this other swivel on the end and put the inside here on the whole of this thing okay just like that <laughs> now you have now you have uh, another jig you have another jig Chereng. okay you need to crimp this one there you go and you can find a good uh, crimper or any kind that you can use it and just like that it's not really perfect I can fix this one later on I'm just showing you how easy it is and you're gonna cut this one and that's it you have a setup for your another fishing jig I don't know if I'm gonna check if, we, if my GoPro catch the whole thing okay if not, I'm gonna repeat, re redo it again. And now you can put your line in here, in here, and your swivel, and you have another thing of uh, jigs. And this one before, now this one. <laughs> and I spent, uh, I don't know how much the, how much I bought this one. I bought this one in Channel Island and uh, this one I'm using for rockfish now we're gonna use for tuna 
see how easy and this one the purpose of this is when this one came up each one of this from the lead and this one is still connected because you have a re we have a 200 pound line in here connected to that one and uh, the fish is still gonna be there you're not gonna lose it and that's it and I hope this one can help you and give you an idea it's not really really perfect but I can fix it more and I just show you how quick it is and maybe in five minutes ten minutes you can make your own uh, jig like this and uh, you could, I hope you're gonna try it next year and I hope you try too if you have any comment if you tried this before please uh, comment subscribe on my channel hookah brothers and hey bro subscribe and share my ch uh, youtube channel and uh, all my videos please uh, god bless you guys this is kuya andrew and see you next year as our new jig lead jig what do you call this i don't know how we're gonna call this 16 ohm sinker jig okay god bless you